Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to another INFJ Ramble. Um, trying to get my <laughs> Palo Santo look to light. <laughs> I hope you're doing well and I hope that you're taking time to be with yourself because you are the most important investment. <laughs> and what do I mean by that? <laughs> I've mentioned in other videos that your time your attention, your energy is the most important commodity. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like um, your currency in this world, you know? It's not the paper, <laughs> although they will have you believe in that. Um, hey, so I took today and I was like, hmm, I should think about like what lessons I have learned you know especially through um, the trials that I was put through in 2023 I don't know if you guys like had a bad I don't know if it was bad it just felt bad it felt very uncomfortable but a lot of things in 2023 literally decimated me but I feel like it was necessary you know you can look at it from two sides one side you can say oh woe is me this is horrible yuck or you can be like what am i supposed to learn from this you know as i move forward into a newer and truer version of myself what are the lessons that i am supposed to take away from this you know i have a tendency to always look for the lessons i always like have a tendency to look for the silver lining and things and so, yeah, I took the time this morning to kind of think on what lessons I learned, you know. Um, for me, I equate, I don't know, life or our purpose in life to um, finding balance, you know. So whenever anything is off kilter or imbalanced... It's almost like, okay, what do I need to do to put things back into balance? Because I think when you are balanced, um, that's when everything kind of like flows. When it's imbalanced, it's kind of like that roller coaster ride where you're kind of up and down, up and down, all around, and it's crazy, right? So that's why like I feel like it's so important to like prioritize finding balance in your life you know yeah i think that's why people equate life to a roller coaster and it can be absolutely but it's because you're probably not balanced within yourself there's something that's off kilter and you need to find that space within yourself that is off kilter and do some adjustments you know um so going into this video, um, some of the things that I learned, I did take time to, again, write it down. And I'm going to share them with you because it might help you to realize this within your current um, timeline or, you know, space of life, if that even makes sense. I don't even know if I'm making sense. Um, okay, so... The first thing, obviously, that I learned was to balance. Um, I also learned to let go. Let go of people, things, environments, energies, um, ideas, belief systems, patterns, um, addictions, you know, that no longer serve my highest good. And I feel like when you um, transform yourself, you become the change that you want to see in the world it's true like i've noticed like every time i level up or i evolve or i ascend things absolutely change around me from the people to the environment to the activities to you know the things i attract you know so it's like you are doing a service to humanity to the collective consciousness by investing in yourself by becoming a better version of yourself by becoming a truer more authentic version of yourself you are that is a service that i feel 
um, is our gift to the world. You know, all this time we've been externalizing it. We've been trying to fix everyone else, fix everything else. And it's like, no, it starts with you, you know. <clears throat> um, some other things that I learned is my time and attention is a valuable commodity. And not everyone deserves access to that. Yeah. I think before I was just, I had no boundaries. I had no, like, um... I don't know, inclination to stop being like so receptive and open to everything. And then on top of that, I would like not only overwhelm myself, I'd always try to like help people, help people fix things, fix things, keep things into place instead of letting it fall apart, letting these people leave, letting these things go, you know, especially if they weren't, um, I don't know, they weren't good for my system, you know. <clears throat> Which goes into the next point. If it doesn't bring peace, it needs to go. If it doesn't bring peace, it needs to go. If you interact, what is up with the voice? Oh my goodness. Every time I start a recording, <laughs> it's like my throat chakra seizes up. <clears throat> Let's clear that. But if you encounter anything or anyone that brings chaos or wreaks havoc on your nervous system and what i mean by that makes you feel anxious makes you feel worried makes you feel afraid makes you feel on edge makes you feel confused you know makes you feel any type of way that does not feel well needs to go absolutely like no second thoughts you know it's like your body is telling you straight up like this isn't good for you like you need to like eliminate it from your space or remove yourself you know so yeah if it doesn't bring peace it needs to go um i also learned what i will and won't accept and this goes back down to basically what i just said like if it doesn't feel good to my nervous system if i can sense that something is off if it brings me more pain and more chaos and confusion than it does like clarity and peace and serenity bye Bye. <laughs> I will retract my energy. I will attract my attention. I will attract my time and access denied. Like no guilt, no remorse, no, um, what is that? Res what is that called? No regrets. Like I would just be like, no, this isn't, this isn't working. I mean, my whole thing is like, you don't have to be unkind about it. I mean, maybe at first you will be unkind because it's really uncomfortable and you're going to be in a reactive state, but ultimately you can just be like this. Very calm, very neutral, very balanced and just say, you know what? This isn't working for me and it either needs to change or I need to leave. Simple. And it's funny, I've noted like when I speak up in this way, oh my goodness, People's demons shut down. They don't even know how to react because I think demons need chaos and confusion to thrive and survive. You know, but if you take away that chaos and the confusion and you're very clear and you're very firm in what you're trying to say, demons don't know what to say. Slay, slay the demons. Okay. <clears throat> um... Not everyone can go where you're going. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, um, my previous version of myself in 2023, I was trying to save people. Save your mentality, right? Right? Like, oh, I, I want to do, I want to help this person. I want to save them. Um, so they can come and come up and rise and elevate with me. No. If that person isn't doing their work. It is not your responsibility to take on their burdens. And it's also like, um, you can't force, which goes into the next one. You can't force anything. You can't convince anyone free will is a thing. So if this person or thing does not want to elevate and do the work that they need to do to clear their system and balance it and regulate it, it's not your responsibility to do it for them. It's not. And I learned that in 2020, it's not your responsibility to take on the weight of the world, to take on other people's burdens, to fix everything. Sometimes things are meant to fall apart. 
you know, and you just have to allow things to fall apart so they can fall into place. Um, another thing I learned is um, being firm and standing up for yourself is not unkind. It's self-respect. And that kind of like covered what I just told you. It's like being firm, you know, and just speaking in a very calm and even killed manner and saying, this isn't working for me. Something needs to change or I'm gone. Period. <laughs> you know, period. Um... Again, access denied to anything or anyone who disrespects. What do I mean by disrespect? Um, they don't consider your needs. They don't. Um, they don't reciprocate. They don't bring the same. Like I want to say, intentions and level of like care and consideration and understanding your way i feel like that's all disrespectful when they're trying to dictate your reality when they're trying to manipulate you when they're trying to control you when they're trying to like yeah all of that is disrespect yeah absolutely nobody should be able to dictate your reality you know what i mean everybody is like certainly um i don't know if i want to use the word entitled but everyone, like, has their own life to live. And nobody should tell you otherwise, you know? Um, 2023 definitely helped me to break ancestral cycles and break through illusions, you know? Because I think I did have the wool over my eyes. And uh, my ego was, you know, controlling the narrative. And making me believe and see things that weren't even there and so it was all about like um breaking through cycles and removing veils that prevented me from seeing things clearly seeing things as they are seeing things in the present moment you know i think in previous videos i said i was very um focused on potential that's kind of illusory just because you know that is like kind of like peering into the future into future timelines but as far as like here and now that's what's true you know um i was able to heal a lot of trauma obviously because i was able to come to these like insights you know um also i learned to self-illuminate more and that is why I came to these insights and then I learned that everything you need is inside you I already knew this but I kind of like it kind of like drilled that lesson home you know you do any everything you need is inside of you you know we spend most of our lives seeking it outside whether it be validation acceptance you know um, I don't know connection healing all, all of this stuff you know we're looking for it outside we're looking at it through like i guess like oh the only way i can attain this is through like connection with someone else and even though like i feel like the connections with other people certainly lead you back to yourself you don't necessarily need these people to complete you in fact you are complete on your own you know um and you need to release to receive so if you're holding on to toxic anything it's like you have to recognize how these things are burdening you, how they're hurting you, how they're no longer necessary. And yeah, you need to release them. I think our attachment to these things because, you know, they feel comfortable or we are we have normalized them is hard makes it hard for us to like release them. But we need to release them so we can receive. You know? Um you can't heal or help anyone, nor is that your responsibility. Um, you can be a self, you can show support, you can, and I feel like sh for me, showing support, it used to be trying to fix and do and, and um, I don't know, heal others, but um, help others. But now my support is listening, my presence, my understanding, my, able, my ability to see things clearly. You know, my, my ability to see people's blocks, my ability to see their potential, 
my ability to be ups like um to offer advice if needed i think that's my service but as far as doing the work for people carrying their weight clearing their burdens not my responsibility nor is it yours um so release that mm. and then you'll feel so much freer and lighter knowing that that's not your responsibility you know yeah you think it's your responsibility but most of the time when we take these things on we're just enabling enabling bad behavior enab enabling toxic cycles you know so just release guys and yeah release the responsibility to and burden of having to carry other people on your back um attachments are addictions absolutely Ad attachment to a person attachment to a thing attachment to an emotion attachment to a thought attachment to an expectation attachment to an idea attachment to a mental construct attachment to uh i don't know attachment to anything it's an addiction and it definitely creates shackles and binds you to this 3d dimension um leave when love is no longer being served that's almost equivalent to like um you know access denied to anyone or anything that disrespects yeah love isn't being served and in another video i said the highest form of love is consideration so if someone else is not considering your needs your feelings your um well-being cut it out let it go release it <laughs> move it along access denied you know um trust the process so if wherever you are in life and i know like i don't know for like three or four months i was literally in a place of i was in the void i was in the void have you are you familiar with the void the void is a very uncomfortable place to be in where nothing makes sense you don't know left from right um you have no you have like no access to your intuition i mm, i mm, <laughs> the void <laughs> i feel like the void is necessary in order for you to like recuperate regenerate um rebirth yourself you know reclaim your power um transmute energies there's a lot going on in the void even though people don't you know we're so accustomed to doing things you know we're so accustomed to like being overly active and like striving after things that when you get to the void it's a very uncomfortable place and i've learned that you need to almost like surrender to it and relax into it and allow it to do what it needs to do in order for you to um yeah like step into a truer version of yourself because that's what is literally happening it's almost like you're in the womb on the physical on a physical level you know and you just need to allow it to happen the more you fight it the harder it is and the longer it'll take for you to pass through the void um what else my ability to identify demons and slay them oh yeah what i mean by demons like um demons come in different forms and if you sit around detach and observe like you can see it very clearly and that's what i mean by i can see what what holds people back from their potential like it can be the demon of lust of jealousy of envy of um arrogance conceit you know just um greed i mean i can see all of them very clearly you know the um, gossip you know any any type of low vibrational like entity that's using a human vessel to like um i don't know to to they basically jump into human vessels and that's what i mean by like demons or entities or attachments that people have and they kind of like um use the people so they can express themselves in the 3d realm to create havoc and chaos and confusion and discord i don't know if you know what i'm talking about if you do you do if you don't you don't 
<laughs> um, Non-reaction is power. Because these demons want you to play. They want you to become confused and chaotic and angry and irritated and sad. And so, you know, they will do whatever they can to bring you down to that level. But if you don't react, then you become an unmovable force and they realize they can't play with you. You know? And yeah, that's what I learned, guys. Uh, focus on yourself. Focus on your energy. Focus on creating a firm foundation within yourself. Focus on... Um, I want to say establishing a strong connection with the Most High. And yeah. Focus on self, guys. It's not selfish. It's all about balance, right? Because most of our life we've been focusing on everyone else. This time of our life we're focusing on self. You know? I was also thinking, you know, that word energy, if you were to kind of like, kind of like revamp it a little, energy, inner, inner G, inner God, inner G, inner connection with the most high, energy, you know, so people who are like energy workers, you get it, not much explanation is needed. And people who don't understand, well, they just need to learn. Anyways, um, if you took anything away from this video, if you learned anything, great. If you didn't learn anything, that's great too. Blessings to one and all. Amen.